So we're going to set up a uh, regular backups through the Microsoft SQL Server um, management plan. Then the first step is we need to make sure that the SQL Server agent is running. So you can just right click on it and make sure that it's up and running. And then we're going to go into the management folder. And here under maintenance plans, we're just going to right click and create a new maintenance plan wizard. So this is going to take us step by step through the process. So we're going to be looking here in this case to do a backup. So we're going to create a backup plan. And we want to make sure that this is scheduled to happen on certain days. So we'll just uh, set up our schedule here. We'll make sure it's recurring. We'll set it to happen weekly and we'll specify which days we want it to happen on. So we're just going to have it happen on weekdays that it'll do its backup. And we want to set it so that it's going to happen at a certain time. Now normally you want to check and see when your backups are being done, when your physical backups of the disks are happening, and you want this to happen just before that. Now on our next screen we want to just say we want to back up our database with a full backup. And that looks good. That's the only action we're going to do right now. And so the databases that we want to back up are going to be the Kinesio Master DB and also any of our um, Vault databases. So for instance here I'm going to grab uh, these ones here and we'll back up those databases. Now we want to make sure it's going to disk and now we want to specify where we want it to go. So we uh, will set it to go to a specific folder here. We don't want to go to the default one. We want one that's a little easier to find. So I've set up a folder here under my C drive for my SQL backups. So we'll just select that and hit OK. Now there are a few other options that we can select here. For instance, we can have um, the verify the backup integrity after it's run as process. And if we want, we can have it compress the backup. So it might take up a little less space. It's up to us if we want to use that or not. So we'll hit next here. And now if we want to report, we can have that um, written. And if we do want that, then uh, it's probably best to have a, a location for those reports to go to so we can check and make sure that those backups that we've got scheduled to happen overnight are actually happening. So we'll specify a location. And that looks good. So we can just review everything, make sure that it all looks good. And if we're satisfied with all the settings, once we hit finish, now it's going to start creating our maintenance plan. And once that's completed, then now we can be assured that our backups are going to be happening as scheduled.